when I first arrived in Denmark, I, I, I looked around and I saw lots of churches. Then I, I, I got really puzzled because I didn't see as many temples in my own, in India, as I saw the number of churches. Every street has a church, every street corner, if not every street corner, every locality or every little small region has a church. So I asked a friend of mine, I mean, the Danes must be really, really religious. And that, that person laughed at me and said, no, 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 no. They use the church for rock shows. And I was most baffled. And that is, you know, the most beautiful thing about the Danes. It's that their ability to be practical. Okay. And if you're ever coming to Denmark, for instance, and that is what you should seek. You should seek the insight in how folks are practical. Okay, I think that these folks are the most practical folks on earth, in my opinion. But, but just, just jokes aside, more relevantly, I think that, that um, Denmark provides a very interesting combination of opportunity for reflection and frustration for anger. Okay, it, it, it has a whole range. The opportunity for reflection it has when when you're coming around and, and you see these folks have really taken care of everybody in society. And as as Indians, when we see poverty, when we see challenges on the street, it's not that we have to replicate a system, but it is important to reflect about how how they have done it, what are the nuances, what are the thoughts, what are the ideas. And perhaps we can modify it for our own case, but definitely there is an opportunity for us to understand the history behind how folks here can actually empathize with another Dane or somebody else from outside who is in Denmark and still be able to make sure that that person is well taken care of even though he or she is not part of your immediate family. And in India we, 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 we tend to do differently. We, we tend to focus on the family and anybody outside is as much as a stranger as being a Dane for instance. But here that's not the case and that is one thing that is very unique in, in Denmark I would think. The other thing which I think is, is, is that the education system here is, is unique in many sense but one thing that I important is very important for me is that they teach you right from the beginning okay how to work in groups I, I, I know that my daughter for example is very is learning the skills on how to collaborate how to how to engage with people right at the beginning right at the right the very early stages and I think this translates into their very practical nature into their ability to actually work across platforms create new solutions for intractable problems yeah so this is very important and when you come to Denmark this is something that you will want to you want to expose yourself to otherwise the country is very clean it's 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 very reflectively clean but there are some quirks there are some ridiculous sides for for instance they can drink beer like crazy okay and it's not it's not funny it is really really drinking beer they make a lot of noise while they drink beer not that you need to understand what they're saying but you won't understand anyway so just forget about it just hear the sound and it's and, and the sound is uh, very uh, nordic it means you won't uh, you'll just hear the sound and volume without understanding anything but the most interesting thing about the quirky nature is that in the summer it is all smiles in the winter the smile dries out so if you're an Indian, I would bet your dollar that you should come here in the summer. And winter for you is, is like how we act in the summer. We go into the house, the Danes go into the house in the winter, and then they come out to play in the summer. You should come out to play in, in Denmark in the summer. And, and, and this is a very interesting thing because in the summer, Danes are all smiling. They will all engage. They are very different. They are completely different people. And that is also interesting because they are able to switch from a summer mood to a winter mood. And they are very different characters. The same person will be totally different in the winter. Very grim, completely not smiling. In the summer, he'll be totally different. And that is also something to, 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 uh, to learn. I mean, not that I'm saying you should come here in winter, but try. Because it could be an interesting, if you want to understand more about Denmark, you cannot not understand without coming here in the winter. It's part of the whole deal. So come in the winter and also come in the summer. Um, that's it, I think. <laughs>